Hi, everyone. I've had some great conversations recently with some members of the English department, the history department, and learning support about highlighting and digital annotating tools. And I've tried to compile some of what I'm hearing a need for, researching some tools, and providing some solutions here that may be of interest to some of you and I wanted to just provide a video so that everybody who's watching this can see if these tools might meet a need in their classroom. So the three things that I'm going to demonstrate today are first a highlighting tool that allows students to collect their highlights right in a Google Doc. The second one will be a tool where I can highlight on any web page and it will actually save those highlights for me. And then the third one is a super simple option for marking up a PDF in Google Drive. I know that was a need for a lot of people, so I'm going to show you a super simple option for that. But let me start with Google Docs. So there is an add-on called Highlight Tool. So that would open a bar right in the right. And what's cool about this tool is that you actually have a highlighter library and you define different highlighter sets that you might use. So maybe in English class you're often labeling for a set number of things you can just create a new set and I might have you know something specific I'm just writing English in general right now and you can create multiple labels one two change the color three pick another color and then save the set now you can only use one of these highlighting sets at a time so once you press save that's going to be the highlighter you're going to use unless you go back to your highlighter library and change which one you're using. So let me go ahead and use this one. This is my label one, label two, and label three. When I'm done highlighting my document, and if I needed to add comments, I can always add comments because it's a Google Doc, right? Then I can do this extract highlights by sequence or by color. I know that there's a great need to organize the highlights by color to help students organize the information that they're seeing. And then they would be able to actually mark it up and just take notes right within this document for themselves so that they can organize the information in a way that it makes sense in their own head. So that's really the goal of this type of an assignment. So you would organize by color and then you can create the highlights in a new document, but you can also do it in the current document, which I know a lot of people are looking for so basically that extracts the highlights right at the bottom of the document so if you go down to the bottom of the document you'll see here that my highlights have been collected by color so you can see I highlighted one two three things in red and it does that for me one two three things and then I had three things highlighted in green and then my orange highlights are collected here. And you know, if you wanted them to comment on this, to annotate their highlights, they could do that. They could just type right within here. But it would be a way of helping them organize the information in this huge long article that they've read so that they can easily synthesize those notes and organize them in a way that they wouldn't be able to write within the article. So that's the first tool that's called Highlight Tool, and that is just an add-on. You just go to Add-ons, and you would go to Get Add-ons, and you would find this Highlight Tool. You would check it, and you would add it, install. The second one is a tool called Liner. This one is a Chrome extension, so you would add it as a Chrome extension, and it allows you to highlight any website, but also save those highlights. So let me show you how that works. So here's an article, and once I've installed it right here, I can just highlight anything on my web page, and then I get this little option. Now with the free, I only have two color options. I have a yellow and I have this turquoise color. That is a limitation. I would just highlight it, and let me go ahead and do that, and I'll come right back. Now, once I've highlighted, if I want to change my highlight color, I can just click on any of the highlights. I can add a comment, which will save, and I can also click on it and I can change my highlight color, just like that. Once I've finished, I can go up to this liner tool and I can actually go to my dashboard and that's going to actually show me all of the articles that I've highlighted and I can actually organize them into folders if I want to to organize my information. And once I click on one of the articles that I've highlighted, you'll see that it kind of collects all those highlights again. Just the things that I've highlighted show up here. And if I press the see in context button, then it will always pull open that document that I had actually highlighted up. So students 
actually get to save their highlights. It's not like they highlight it once and then it's gone. If they go back here and they click on any of the articles they have highlighted in the past and press the in context, they'll be able to see those highlights just like so. Another thing is that they can export their highlights so they can export. Unfortunately, there's no Google Docs option, but there is a Word option, there's an email option and so forth. So once they export it, it would just download as a Word document, they can open it up and then you can see the yellow highlights the turquoise highlights it captures all those highlights by color and then any comments would be also annotated here and they would be able to see it and it also has the original source so the link back to their original source and the link back to the highlighted source so if they go to the original source that won't show the highlights but if they go back to the highlighted source that is just like this see in context button right here and it would open the article with all of the highlights that they made right there and so that's always saved in their dashboard that's a really nice feature of this liner tool so again, that's just a Chrome extension. You would just go to the Chrome web store and search for liner, add that to Chrome. Now my third option is super, super simple. Let me go back to this article and let me save this as a PDF. If you don't know this one, um, one of my favorite tools is print friendly and PDF. That's also a Chrome extension. Let me just show you. This is also in the Chrome web store, print friendly and PDF. And basically what it allows me to do is take any article like this. And then, you know, there's always junk in an article that you don't actually want printed. Like maybe the images, you can just click it and it deletes that. So all this stuff at the bottom that I don't actually want printed, just click it and you see it just deletes it. So I can really clean up my article before I go to physically print it or just print it as a PDF. So now that I've done that, I want to save it as a PDF, download my PDF, and for the purposes of this little demo, I'm going to just add it to my Google Drive. As I said, I'm presenting a super simple option. Any PDF that you upload to your Google Drive, there's actually this comment feature right here, and you can see when you press it, it says highlight an area to comment on it. So I can literally just you know, hold my mouse down and highlight anything and comment on it. And it will save as you know something that looks very much like a highlight. Comment. And so I can just kind of annotate up my document in that way. And this can even work with something like an image. Um, if you want students to kind of mark up an image or label an image or something like that, just use the comment feature. You would highlight an area to comment on like so. And then you would add a little comment so that it would save it as kind of your little digital annotations. And then when you come back to this Google Drive file, so you do have to put the PDF in your Google Drive, then you would be able to see all of those annotations. Again, that's just a super simple option. So to recap, the three things are one is a Google Doc add-on. So that's actually just for Google Docs. And that would allow you to highlight and group those highlights very easily for students to organize their information. The next tool we used was Liner, and that was a Google Chrome extension so that they could save their highlights on web pages. It does have the ability to upload PDFs. It's in beta. I tried it. It worked really, really well. So if you want to use Liner to do the PDF annotations, that is an option, but a super, super simple option for you is to just upload as a PDF file to your Google Drive. And once you do that, just use the comment feature to highlight and leave little comments on the side. So that's it. I hope that this video helps. Bye.